boys and girls, we're moving on to our next topic of algebraic word problems. Now the word, word algebraic just means algebra. So we're dealing with word problems that have to do with our last topic of algebra. We have a new word that I'd like you to write in section two of your homework sheet. The new word for our vocabulary is variable. Now the word variable just means the unknown number that is often represented by a letter. So anytime you have the letter N or the letter X or the letter T in place of an unknown number, we like to call that word the variable. So please copy this into your homework sheet. Let's take a look at our first example. Megan spent $15 at the grocery store. She bought a bag of potatoes for $3 and six pounds of meat. How much did the meat cost per pound? So it sounds like a two-step problem to me. Let's take a look. What I've done is I've written an algebraic expression. Actually, it's an algebraic equation because it has an equal sign in there. So let's take a look at the numbers and the letters that I chose to represent our word problem. What do I know? I know that Megan spent a total of $15 at the grocery store. So often we show total as being the other side of what's on the equal sign. So I have my total being $15. What else do I know based on our word problem? I know that she bought a bag of potatoes for $3. So on potatoes, all she spent was $3. So I've represented that amount right here. I also know that she bought six pounds of meat. So I have my six represented right here. What I don't know is how much the meat costs per pound. And that's what my final question is. So if I were trying to figure out what the meat costs per pound, I would be multiplying the amount of money the meat cost by how many pounds I bought. So I chose to represent the cost of the meat with the letter D, standing for dollars. And you can choose any letter you want when you're creating your own algebraic expressions or algebraic equations. So here I have $3 for the potatoes plus six pounds of meat at a certain price per pound, equaling $15 altogether. So what I need to do is figure out what my D represents, how much my meat costs per pound. So to do this, I'm just gonna be thinking about what would, ha what would my um, value have to be in order for this number sentence to be true. And you can do this in a variety of ways. You can draw a picture, you can do um, reverse operations, which I'm gonna do in this case. So let's take a look. We have $3 for the potatoes plus another certain amount of money equaling $15 altogether. Well, if I use my fact families for subtraction and addition, I know that if I have $15 and I take away three, it will show me that my other item, my meat, must have cost $12 altogether. However, I'm not quite done with my problem yet. And this is often where students make mistakes. They come up with one answer and they think they've answered the final question. But let's take a look at what the final question is. How much did the meat cost per pound? Not how much did the meat cost altogether. Although it's true that the meat cost me $12, that's not how much it was per pound. Let's go back to our question. How many pounds of meat did Megan buy? She bought six pounds. So six times something has to give me $12 altogether. So if Megan bought six pounds of meat, how much money would it be per pound if the total came to $12? So I ask myself, six times what gives me $12? And I know the final answer would be two. Two dollars per pound for meat. And to check myself, I can just plug my number right in and rewrite the problem. Three dollars for potatoes plus six pounds of meat at two dollars a pound equals $15 altogether. Six pounds of meat times $2 each equals $12. And $3 for my potato plus $12 for my meat gives me $15 all together. 
So a few different steps, but if you're taking your time and really thinking through carefully, you'll be able to solve problems just like this. And now I'm gonna give you your opportunity to do just that. We have two practice problems for you to work on in your homework sheet in space number three. So I will read them aloud to you and then give you some time to solve them. All right, here's the first one. The movie theater is running a special for $35. For that cost, you will get four tickets and a $3 coupon for snacks. How much does each ticket cost? So try to come up with an algebraic expression that will show your problem and then solve for the final question. And your second example. Madison earns a weekly allowance of $4. She also earns $5 for each hour she babysits. Last week, she earned a total of $29 altogether. How many hours did she babysit? Again, try to create an algebraic expression that will like, show your problem and try to solve the final question to the best of your ability. And if you need to, boys and girls, make sure you draw pictures or use any other strategies that might help you solve these. And as always, if you still have questions, comments, or strategies, be sure to put those in box four of your homework sheet. And that's it for now. You've been flipped with Mrs. Manafo.